one of my heroes, and he's always hung in my office. I have a bipartisan wall that has a lot of different people on there. Ronald Reagan, and when he said, I didn't leave my party, right. my party left me. That's true. That's what he said. And I'm saying the same thing. He Wow. Uh, that and that impeachment push not sitting well with all Democrats. Like our next guest, New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. You just saw him in the, in the Oval Office talking to the President of the United States. He's now joining the GOP. Here with more on that decision is the now Republican Congressman from New Jersey, Jeff Van Drew. Congressman, how do you feel about your decision hours after making it? I feel good and I feel strong about it and I look forward to, you know, working with my new colleagues and to continue to work with other colleagues as well. I do believe in bipartisanship, but I do believe there are certain basic tenets to the United States of America that are so important. The belief in American exceptionalism, I talked about that with the president, how this is an exceptional nation. It is the best nation in the world. And, you know, I was often criticized from some of my far left colleagues for saying that. They would say to me, it's not the best nation in the world. It's no different than any other nation. And I bring that up because in order for us to go forward, to do better, to become even greater, we have to have that mindset. And I know that the president does have that mindset. I, I, I think that um, that is, is something that we really have to obviously always believe. I think we have to believe in the fact that, you know, American people are people that just, you right. know, didn't always have things given to them, but that they worked hard, that, you know, they always were given opportunity. But success is something that you have to reach out for and work yourself. And I think that's really, really important as well. So was um, impeachment, Congressman, gonna... if there was no impeachment, yes. would you still be a Democrat? I might have been. I mean, let me tell that story really quickly, actually. It's important. So I was um, speaking to one of the county. I have eight counties in my district. I was speaking to one of the county chairs. And as I spoke to that chair, um, he said, I just want to tell you something. You absolutely are going to vote for impeachment. And I said, no, I'm not. I think this is a very weak impeachment. I think it's wasted millions of dollars, hours of time, has not been productive, has split the country apart, has caused a fractioning of the country, and literally has caused civil unrest in a sense. And he said, well, I'm telling you, if you want to run in this county, um, you're going to have to vote for right. it. You're going to have to obey. And the bottom line was, that was the final point. There were all these other issues, and I could tell you what some of the other issues were where I believed differently, but I kind of went along. But that issue, really, that the fact that you almost talk quid pro quo, so because I'm going to vote in a way I don't want to vote, you're going to force me, and then you're going to allow me to run. That's not what America is about. That's not what our election system should be about. Have you faced a lot of anger from Democrats who said, I put you there as a Democrat, how dare you? You got a little bit, um, actually a lot less than I thought I would. I've had such a good reaction and, and so much support and welcoming by Republicans. And I didn't know what would happen with Democrats, but so many Democrats that we meet say, Jeff, you know, we like you as for whatever, in any way that you run, because we know that you're independent and we know that you believe in what you say and you do what you believe. So uh, mm -hmm. I think that it hasn't been nearly as bad as I thought it might have been. So, uh, but it's a, you know, it's a big step and a lot of people would come up to me and say, boy, you know, it took a lot of, I guess, you know, intestinal fortitude is the nice way to say it, uh, to go forward and do this, you know, and um, I believe strongly in what I did. I, I hope to really work well with my Republican colleagues. I want to achieve greatness. I want to help the president. Uh, I, I think we can have a wonderful right. year in 2020. Well, I also think that now your district and... Um uh, you have the president's ear, and I, so I know he certainly respects and appreciates uh, the turnover. Uh, so Congressman Jeff Van Drew saw impeachment and said, I've had enough. It is now a Republican from New Jersey. And now I imagine your primary opponent will fade away if the president um, does indeed have your back like you seem to have his. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, thanks so much. Thank you. It was great to be with you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, uh, back at you. Trying to solve problems in Washington. That's something very unique.